Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Good lunch? Excellent. We're going to be uh, talking about how reactive programming has really kind of changed the world and the way you, you create apps today. So I would easily say that I'm an RX pusher. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is trying to relay how exactly reactive programming is really, really an interesting paradigm, especially for us in the JavaScript world. Everything about your apps today is asynchronous, whether it's your startup, your player, your data access, your animations, view model bindings, everything about your app happens to be reactive. What comes with that comes a number of things such as uh, uh, nightmares that you had to deal with. Memory leaks. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to get rid of my event handlers. I left a few uh, open. I have race conditions between certain events that are happening. I have callback hell. You know, complex state machines whether I don't know quite how to read where my code goes next. And so you have all this disjointed error handling because of that because you ha now have error handling in five or six different places for them that they realized that they could write their entire set of applications using one kind of language as it were which is actually language neutral. There's RxJava, there's Rx.net, there's RxGroovy, uh, Python, Ruby, Rust, you name it, and of course JavaScript. So what you always end up with a lot of the times is this poor kid trying to uh, uh, <laughs> get the data after, uh, after it's long gone. <laughs> Poor kid. But there are problems with that. For example, there is no innate way in the promises spec itself to handle cancellation at all. So for example, in the, uh, the fetch API, that's part of service workers and so forth, has no, uh, no way at all of doing uh, canceling a promise. Not only that, but there was also cer certain things that were missing from the spec as well, and the fact that there is no finalization as well. So if you're trying to model something uh, such as uh, I.O., which very much has a, a notion of cleanup at the very end, as well as any cancellation, like you get halfway through uh, uploading a file and you want to stop. Well, then promises as specified today do not have that solution. So it's really the, uh, uh, what I would say is the subject observer pattern that they had, but done right. So what we have is the observable here with a subscribe, and that subscribe takes in an observer. So that observer takes in, so it says, notify me when there's something next, when there's an error, and when there's a completion. And then I hand you back the subscription. That subscription then will allow us to unsubscribe at any point and clean up the entire chain. So you kind of realize, wow, everything really is a stream. How many people have heard of Redux? Good number of people. Okay, uh, what if I told you it's only one line of code in Rx? I would like to take off this hat for just a moment and I really would like to make reactive great again. <laughs>